Hi, this is Gilles, Radio Prepper, <laughs> and it's been a long time since I've been out on a radio expedition. Well, it's not very far, I just went to a local park, but uh, it, it's nice to be out even though the weather isn't that great. So a while ago, uh, Alex contacted me and uh, he's the local guy and uh, he said he wanted to make a, a CB antenna. Now I've already... Or, bleh, <laughs> I've already made a video on making an, an unfed half-wave antenna for CB. It's called uh, making a, a, a CB antenna for Luc or something like that. Uh, half-wave. Well, uh, faire une antenne de million CB pour Luc, je pense, quelque chose comme ça. So since I already had a, a video in French, I decided to make one in English. And uh, I have other videos that show this process, how to build an unfed transformer. It's going to be a 49 to one. So something to get the high impedance of a wire fed at the bottom and to get it down to 50 ohms for the radio so that the radio can cope with it. You all know I love half-wave unfed antennas. They are very efficient. Uh, they work extremely well, I think, they are the most practical antennas for CB. And I think Alex is calling me. No, maybe not him. He did earlier. Perfectly legal PMR radio. All right, so we are going to uh, make this antenna. Uh, what you need to make the uh, transformer is an FT140-43. Now, uh, this is a medium-sized toroid, so probably good to uh, about, I don't know, 70 watts maybe even 100 on uh, SSB uh, if you want something if you want more power you have to uh, use an FT240-43 some people even use uh, two or three of them stacked together but you know one is just uh, works really well so this is good for QRP and uh, you know even to some uh, some power so it's going to be of course for CB we're going to make two of them Alex is going to make one uh, while I make the other, but uh, so I'll give him one. <laughs> Vas-y. Ouais. Donc uh, voilà, tu vas le faire en même temps que moi. Okay. Okay. Ça marche. All right. So we have a wire, one millimeter wire. I don't know the gauge, uh, what the gauge is, but uh, it's one millimeter, and I'm going to cut uh, about 70 centimeters, maybe a meter, so about three feet of wire. So we'll start by. Uh, taking about four inches, four inches from the end of the wire here and I'm going to take about half an inch off the uh, enameled insulation so trying of course not to break the cable which is not always easy because well I've done it before <laughs> and if you have a BNC connector with an uh, eyelet uh, then you're going to be uh, sliding the eyelet here and, and putting it here. But here Alex has a, uh, well, I always confuse the SO239 and, and PL159. Or, I, I use BNC, so I don't, I don't use those things. But uh, for CB, of course, uh, it's it's mostly uh, that kind of connector. Can I say plutôt ça? All right, so I have my uh, insulation taken off here, and I'm going to bend the wire right in the middle of that here we go and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to twist the wires together I'll be careful not to twist the wire around the other one that's going to be straight but I, I want both of them to uh, to be twisted I don't think it's that important but it, it just makes it neater and, uh, and easier so there we go. So those are going to be uh, for the uh, for the primary. That's going for the two primary turns. We'll have two primary turns and 14 turns total. If I was making a transformer for a lower band, like uh, say uh, 80 meters, 3.5 megahertz, or 40 meters, 7 megahertz, I would probably use uh, three turns primary and 24 turns total and that would make a 64 to 1. This is going to make a 49 to 1 transformer so that means it's going to divide the impedance by 50. So if your antenna has an impedance at the end of the wire of say I don't know uh, 3000 ohm uh, divide by 50 and you get pretty close to uh, 50 ohms. All right, I hope that's long enough. <laughs> it doesn't look like it but maybe. I think Alex is actually is looks better than mine. All right, so every time the wire goes through the core, that's one turn. So that's one turn. I'm gonna bend the wire here. 
and that's going to be your ground connection. So that's one turn and I'm going to put it as tight as I can and put it in for the second turn. So second turn. And this antenna guys, you'll see, for CB, uh, it's just nothing better. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, it's, it's the most practical uh, CB antenna for portable operations. Because you only have to attach it at one point and it's only about a five meter wire, a little bit less, maybe, probably, we'll see. And it works extremely well. Here, okay, I'm untwisting here because it was a little too long, so I had exactly uh, the right amount of wire, actually. So, you always count the turns on the inside of the toroid, so it's one, two. So, two primary. Okay, montre-moi. Ouais, c'est bon. Yeah, ouais, c'est bon. Un, deux. Très bien, très bien. Okay, donc, un, ouais, non, c'est bon. Voilà, un peu plus serré, mais c'est bon. All right, so now I'm going to keep going, so I'm going to make a third turn. Turn number four, I'm going to go up to seven. Okay, so now I have seven turns. The thing is, I could keep on going and all around and end up here with my 14th turn, but I want the wire to come out this way because it's the opposite side of the input here. So what I'm going to do for the eighth turn is that I'm going to put it across. I'm going to put it in there and go straight across. And that counts as turn number eight. And we'll do nine. Nine, okay, this is a little too close, maybe. Okay, more like this. So it goes in the middle. Nine, 10, and up to 14. And that's it, guys. Uh, it's done. 14 turns total. We have the wires come in the opposite ends. This is going to be the input, so ground here center of the coax right here we're going to put a, a capacitor a 100 picofarad 3000 uh, volt capacitor between uh, those two wires here on the input i have a uh, soldering iron here it's uh, it's a 12 volt uh, soldering iron and uh, it's i'll tell you it's really something you want to have uh, I paid less than $10 shipped for this, uh, you know, of course out of China, but it works pretty well. I put some uh, Anderson uh, power poles here and I have a gel cell battery with me and I'm going to use it to uh, to solder those wires to the uh, connector. I'm going to cut the wire just about, uh, just about here. And of course I'll uh, take the insulation off. And then we'll test it. Uh, I have my uh, spider beam uh, mast. We'll put a wire on it, the uh, antenna analyzer, and uh, we'll see if it works. Uh, we don't have a CB here, so but uh, maybe we can test with the uh, you know reception with the uh, PRC320. All right, so I added a little bit of wire here and a little extension. Hopefully, my uh, soldering iron is going to get hot enough. And yes, it does. All right, so we'll uh, solder the uh, center connector here. And it's difficult to get the uh, the temperature up because of course there's a lot of metal here and uh, my soldering iron is not the uh, the hottest. So now I'm going to solder the, uh, the capacitor 100 picofarad, uh, 3000 volts, and it's going to be between the input here, between the ground, the ground side and the, uh, the center of the connector. All right, so let's solder the, uh, the ground connection now, and that that will be it. Now, uh, after that, we can uh, test it. All right, so uh, we plugged in the antenna on the on the mast, and I'm going to do a scan. So I chose uh, 10 meters, but I set the frequency from 26 plus 4, so 26 to 30 megahertz. I'm gonna do, and we're gonna scan, and we're gonna see uh, if we uh, we are actually uh, anywhere close. All right, so uh, we're more about 26, so of course that shows that the antenna is too long and we're gonna shorten it. So let's see now, I think we, we should be good. I think that'll be the last cut and then we'll measure the wire. Yeah, all right, right on it, right on it. So uh, we're, we're pretty much good and the, the bandwidth is very wide. 
All right, so propagation is absolutely dead. Uh, there's nobody, nobody on CB frequencies, so I can't, uh, there's nobody to listen to, but I know the antenna works, and I know it's a great antenna, and I guarantee you, uh, it, you know, and I'm probably gonna have to make another video, but uh, it's not gonna get anything today. <laughs> So here's the installation for 20 meters with the 10 meter wire, so a half wave, the transformer, spider beam, and it goes up to the tree. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. You're five and five. Thank you very much. You're about 5'8 here in the south of France on the uh, Mediterranean coast uh, using a, a man pack, military man pack PRC 320 and a, uh, an unfed uh, half wave antenna. Over. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, that's it for this one. And uh, go ahead and build it. All the parts you can find easily on eBay. That's what I did. And uh, it just cost a few dollars, uh, you know, probably $20 or you know, 15 euros. And uh, that's all you need. And uh, good luck and uh, have a good one.